Hey everyone and thanks for checking out this video. Today we're heading to Portsmouth, Ohio in the Norfolk Southern Yard there. This is the second time I've been here, but the first that I'll be focusing on the yard and its operations. As you can see, it sits next to the Ohio River. This more than three mile facility is quite massive. However, it's just a shell of its former self. Throughout the video, you'll see where many of the tracks have been torn out. Just like my previous videos, the first part will be sped up, and then the normal speed footage will be at the end. I'll try to describe what you're seeing, and I have a few questions I'm hoping to get answered. This was a Monday morning I stopped by, so I was hopeful the yard would be busy. Unfortunately, I just can't find much information on the yard. As we fly by, you can see just how big it is, though. That bridge in the background connects Portsmouth and Kentucky. Those cable stay bridges really are the rage right now. I'm not sure if those buildings are original or if they were rebuilt at some point, but we'll take a closer look a little later on. One thing you probably noticed is the amount of coal cars in the yard. Coal is still big business throughout this area, with much of it going to the NS Coal Docks on Lake Erie. You can watch a coal train being loaded onto a ship by clicking on this video. It wasn't as packed as I had hoped for 9 a.m. on a Monday, but we've got a crew doing some flat track switching. That worker just reversed the switch, and now these cars will be pushed where they need to go. At one point, this yard had two humps to sort the cars, but those have been removed for some time. Real quick, note those BNSF locomotives. They were running when I arrived here, and they were running when I left about seven hours later. Can anyone explain why they just let these locomotives run like that? It was in the mid 40s this day, so it wasn't even that cold out. Back to the action. Looks like this string of gondolas is going to add some high top gondolas. Note the empty coal train in the background. After a battery change, we're once again at the easternmost portion of the yard. There's that empty coal train coming toward us. Let's go back and check on the other end of the yard. Here we see the crew kicking more cars. This takes a great amount of skill and coordination between the engineer and the conductor, and I must say, it's pretty neat to watch. I'm not sure what the holdup is though, but there's a look at the cars needing to be sorted. There we go, now they set off a tank car. I'm no expert, but that impact seemed pretty hard. What do you think? As we head toward the other end of the yard for a new battery, we see another string of cars on their way to be sorted. This yard is large enough where two crews can work at once cutting cars. Although it's not often you see a six axle EMD unit sorting cars in a yard. Also, note that big curve in the track. And next to it we see a loaded coal, or well, I think it's actually a coke train. There's a Sun Coke Energy facility not too far away that I think that came from. Alright, back to our cars. Notice those two bulkhead flat cars. Not sure what the problem with them was, but they didn't want to roll where the crew needed them to be. After giving it a minute, they decided to give the cars another push. That's the kick they needed. I could be wrong, but it looks like the majority of switches in this yard are hand thrown. Those conductors must get quite a workout. Here we see a string of seven hoppers being sent, followed by a single one on another track. I'm not sure what type of system they have to get the cars on the correct track, or how often they send a car to the wrong destination, but these crews must be good and efficient. Let's just sit back and watch them do their thing.
here's a look at the car repair shops and some of the other structures on the property. I wish I could have seen this yard in its heyday. This looked like a pretty unique group of cars. Now I'll take a look at what's pushing them. That gondola must need some type of repair or service work done. Here's a wider look at the yard, this time looking east and then showing the city of Portsmouth. Next, I spotted NS6960 heading somewhere. It's an SD60E. I followed, but it just came to a stop here. It must have been lunchtime. Next up, we'll see the SD40-2s on the move. Hopefully they're going to get some more loads. As they arrive at this string of cars, those gondolas next door are heading somewhere else. The SD40s must be set for more sorting. Meanwhile, I found these coil cars being shoved. I can just barely see the green vest walking down the line in the shadows. I think he sets off the coil cars on the end. Here we see the string of cars being pulled beyond the switch. The conductor reverses it, and then he tells the engineer to bring the cars on back. And they keep going and hook up with the other cars, and then he continues to push back in. One thing I find confusing about rail yards is whether cars are being spotted to be sorted or if they've been sorted or if they're just being put somewhere as a block to be dealt with later on. We now head to the west entrance of the yard. We see another string of cars being pushed, or well, they were. I'm not sure what happened, but I ran out of battery before those cars would move again. I needed to get some lunch and wanted to check on the NS coal facility at Wheelersburg a few miles down the road. By the time I got my drone up, there was a crew preparing for a mixed freight to leave. Those signs they're putting up say STOP on two separate lines. I'm assuming that means stop, but I'm surprised that it would be blue and not red. Anyone have any more information on these signs? As we look up, we can see the locomotives and the train that will be soon departing. Here we see a conductor hooking up the yard air to another string of cars. The way I understand it, yard air allows crews to pressurize the air brake lines of a cut of cars without the need for a locomotive. And from what I read, these cars can be left on yard air pretty much indefinitely. As we take a look under the bridge, we can see the crew getting ready to leave. I will say, this is a great place to watch trains because everything coming and going from the yard will go past you at a relatively close distance and you can see into the yard a bit. Next up, we see our crew pull a few cars out before a conductor reverses the switch.
The camera doesn't do a good job of showing it, but there is quite a dip as the tracks go under this bridge. Let's get a better view of the cars as they're coming out of the yard. As we see the last car come into view, the conductor picks up the end of the train device and attaches it. He then gets in a crew van and off he goes. And like I said, there are plenty of spots next to the tracks to watch these trains pull out. We're in luck, an eastbound coal train just made it into view. Here's a look at the end of the coal train coming through the yard. Notice those BNSF locomotives. Yep, they're still running. A few minutes later and another eastbound intermodal came through, but it got diverted to the bypass track. It had two locomotives on the end of it as well. For the final part of the video, we see those SD40s working again. This time, they're pulling out a long cut of cars. Not sure if they were sorting these cars or if they were getting them ready to depart as part of an upcoming train. Here we see a close-up of the locomotive and the engineer as they pull out. Now we're looking at the last car in the cut. You can see the conductor on the car's platform. As it comes to a stop, notice how far back those cars roll from all the slack between them and the engines at the front. The conductor throws another switch, radios back to the engineer, and then he hops on once more. Here's a closer look at the BNSF locomotives. It looks like this cut of cars is ready for their next destination now, but unfortunately, we won't get to see that happen.
As I brought my drone back, I noticed this westbound intermodal waiting to continue on its way. We'll finish with a look at the Ohio River, a large barge heading downstream, and the massive CSX Scioteville Railroad Bridge in the background. Even at this distance, you can tell how massive that is. I've got a video in the works on that incredible structure. I hope you enjoyed this close-up look at the Portsmouth Yard. Let me know what you think, and please share any information or stories you have about this facility. Until our next trip, I hope you have a great day. All right, handbrakes are off. Go ahead and pull west. About five to a stop. Seven and armed. Ready, pop it.
check. Everything's double check. Coming to you. Three. Two. One more. Turn arrow D-17. About stopping, uh... About channel eight. Okay, you guys going out the west in there? He never did say. Um, I'll holler at him there and see. Maybe get you guys run that EOD down once we cut off. Or something. Okay. Bye. 
five feet, three feet, that will do. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll bring you off the uh, 29 back in the 27, hold you up there to light down. Let this uh, yard crew get out of the way, then I'll run you up uh, three angle to get on the east end. And Go 
hour to place the foot there somewhere. Are we stopping, Kenny? Yeah, we'll time down here, then you can come up here and we'll job for you.
Chief. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, how many cars are showing on their paperwork? I'm showing 13 now. 10 of them. Okay, yeah, there's 13 cars. I got a new list that I marked up. Or I can tell you where those cars go, whatever you want to do. Let me ask you this. Is there any Columbuses on them? That's a negative. Okay, we're all going to head double three to two before we bring those swingers over. Okay, that sounds like a plan, uh, double three and two. Yeah, did you make any cuts on that, uh, on that, uh, track that you switched that? No, we switched J-17 first and pulled all that 19W out, which, uh, of course, uh, within five cars safe uh, the other than that, everything's great. Okay, I got you. All right, thank you.
Just off for three scale, don't put them in three scale, don't go on the scale track. about 
the CSX bridge.
end of uh, one storage. No, all right, I'm gonna wait till this uh, UP03 and the UP14 get out of here, get out of the way. Let's plan on putting that uh, motor back on 18, like we said with the first plan, and uh, we'll come in and bring it right down to you, get you off of there. All right, then wait till the smoke clears and we're going to 18. That is correct.
get up to where you can clear West Avenue. But if you can't, then it's fine. Half star. Number uh, 